Horror League. Today we're going to do something because it's popular. Uh, we're going to be playing the Walls deck. Uh, almost said Walls combo. That's what it used to be. Um, it's the Walls deck. And this is uh, a deck that's utilizing the new Cascade cards from Commander Legends. Boarding Party and Annoyed Altasaur. Um, we're going to use the uh, the base of the old Walls deck. Axebane Guardian, Overgrown Battlement, and uh, Quirion Ranger, as well as some draw cards, Winding Way, and Lead the Stampede. And we're going to put this all together. We're going to create large amounts of mana very early and start casting our giant uh, cascading creatures, hopefully cascading into um, something of value. And we can also use the Valakut Invoker and out of the sideboard the Blood Rate Invoker to use our mana to do damage or drain life um, from our opponents. Okay, so we've got Tinderwall into Battlement, so this seems pretty good, we're gonna keep. And we can even sacrifice the Tinderwall to put out the Rumble Fort later. Oh, okay, I actually just took it off of um, MTG Goldfish. So they could be very, very similar indeed. Oh, look at that. Tinderwall has another ability, huh? You can pay a red and sacrifice it to do two damage to a creature it's blocking. I wonder how often in the history of magic that has happened. Okay, black and blue. We're going to be looking at playing the settlement here, I think, is our best play. We can make two mana with a Tinderwall, which gives it us a total of four. But we would be looking at uh, wanting five mana. So four just isn't enough. Let's play the Battlement and pass. They'll probably have a removal spell for the Battlement here. Nope, just a Spell Stutter Sprite. Okay, that Sprite's a little bit behind here. Uh, we're intending on dropping uh, three drop next turn. So Spell Stutter Sprite still won't be doing much. Okay, here's a Ninja, which means they're going to be tapped out for our turn. And we'll be able to block that ninja fairly easily over the uh, the next turns. Ooh, snuff out. That's really good from the opponent. Okay, so once again, we only have access to... Uh, well, we have access to five mana this turn, but we want six to do our things. So we're just going to have to throw out an Axe Bane Guardian and pass the turn. Not sure about which. Oh, really? You think so? Yeah, I could see that. Um, while they're tapped out, get to lead the stampede out, uh, draw some cards. I generally want to get my mana into play as early as possible, and then look to start casting my uh, my spells like this. Okay, this is going to be a fall from favor, and then they're going to attack with ninja here. Generally, I think of Lead the Stampede as a way to reload. Um, not sure if it's right, but generally it's one of the last cards I'll play out of my hand. Okay, so we have four mana. We play Tinderwall. We have access to five mana. Again, just really awkward, but we can two spell this turn.
but the opponent's monarch is uh, going to pull the uh, the opponent so far ahead. It's not going to take very long. Um, drawing that extra card every turn is going to get them removal spells, and then the cards they're getting from Ninja is doing the same. Might actually be able to keep them from getting the card of the Ninja the Deep Hours this turn, unless they have another snuff out. Yeah, it kind of feels that way. But I mean, what, what do we really expect from uh, the opponent here? Um, they play removal spells, counter spells, and draw spells. Uh, so they have two mana up. They could have counter spell. Or they could have... Uh, I mean, we know they have fairies, but they probably have counter spell too. Yeah, no, that's probably right, because at this point we're looking, we're staring down a counterspell and we're almost out of cards. Okay, so they do have the counterspell, and that's pretty much game here. But um, we do have uh, access to a few more cards that could come into play um, if we manage to get one of our big mana cards. Um, they have the cast down for the Rumble Fort, so we're not going to be able to attack the card. The turn a card comes into play, they're going to be able to keep the Monarch. This game is uh, slipped away from us. Um, advantage bar would be way over in the opponent's favor at this point. And depending on our next draw, I don't uh, imagine we'll be sticking in this game very much longer. Just a forest. We're going to move on to the next game. Kind of feels like garbage time. Opponent has a million cards in hand. We weren't going to come back from that. I think we're going to want to take out uh, some of our one drops, the things that are easiest to counter with um, the fairies. You think the uh, Caretaker and Lana War Elves would be better? This is my uh, first time playing the deck, so I definitely appreciate uh, any advice you might have. Okay. Interesting. Okay, makes sense. Um, I think this hand is probably good enough. We have mana, we have something to do with mana. Um, we need something for turn two, but otherwise I think the hand's pretty good. Ooh, Reaping the Graves would be really good.
Axe Bane Guardians for days. Now they're not going to be able to counter it, but they will have Snuff Out up. This Caretaker's not really doing too much. We could make one mana with it now, but nothing to do with it. So next turn, it looks like we could get two Axe Bank Guardians out, or one, two, three, four, five. If we get a land, we could put out Boarding Party. Nope, they got Snuff out. So we're going to lose our Axe Bank Guardian. And this is a Fall from Favor on the Caretaker. Well, there's uh, definitely worse cards they could have put that on. But that gives them the Monarch, and it's going to be a while before we can take it. Oh, and the Elvish Mystic. This would have been the perfect time for the Caretaker to shine. Okay, Agony Warp takes care of our card. Seems like a pretty tough matchup between the counter spells and the removal spells. I don't know that any deck plays more removal spells than uh, Demir. Just can't get anything to stick. Alright, so they're tapped out again. We're going to be able to play uh, Lead the Stampede. We're going to have to discard two cards. Because we don't have any lands. Uh, let's see here. So let's do a little sorting by mana cost. And decide what we're going to get rid of. Uh, probably the Caretaker. And... Maybe the Crusher. Are we both missing on lands here? So we're going to be looking to uh, double spell. Hopefully this turn and next turn. We have our last two Axe Bane Guardian. Uh, the other two are already in the graveyard. And the Axe Bane is how we make red mana. Um, we also have Overgrown Battlements. So depending on what we draw, um, we might put down two Battlements or Battlement Mystic. Got the ninja every time. Okay, so they've tapped off blue. I think they're going to be looking for another land here. Oh, this is a Gurmag Angler. Big fish. But they missed on a land drop. We miss on land as well, unfortunately. So it looks like it's going to be Overgrown Battlements and Elvish Mystic.
We're fine with taking five here from the angler, looking to block the ninja, but uh, they might have different ideas here. Yeah, cast down on the battlements. So we're going to be taking seven, going to 11. Opponent will draw another card with ninja. We want to keep this mystic around, get that mana. Preordain, still looking for that land. And a Fairy Seer. Two cards on top. So they found their land. They'll be playing it next turn, I think. We miss on land again. Um, we can play Battlement and Archer. Well, we have the Mystic as well here. So we have four mana. Uh, we could play Axe Bank Guardian and Scattershot Archer. It's probably the best use of our mana. Okay, there's their fifth land on turn seven. And they have another removal spell for our, uh, our Guardian here. So we're not going to have the mana we're looking for, and they're putting up quite a bit of pressure with this Gurmag Angler. So I say this game is over. Let's move on to uh, another one. One land. Uh, I think we're going to mulligan this. This is much better. Let's keep this one. We have to get rid of something. Um, I kind of feel like Quirion Ranger, Caretaker are fine. I wonder if we actually get rid of Forest here. Uh, no, it wasn't in the list. Although I think I would prefer the Wall of Roots to this Caretaker. Either want to get rid of Forest, maybe lead the Stampede. I kind of feel like I'm supposed to keep both of my one drops here so I can ramp up. The awkward thing is the Caretaker isn't going to get me a turn to Axebane Guardian. We'll get rid of the boarding party and keep the lead the stampede. Okay, so seat playing against uh, one of the artifact decks, I think. So we could make two mana here, but that's not enough to cast anything, so we'll just pass. Next turn, uh, we'll get down to business. Yeah, because we have the Quirion Ranger to sort of make mana every turn, but having that extra forest is just going to let us uh, have way more mana turn three. Okay, so we have two, three, four, five, six mana total. So we can play Axbane Guardian, lead the Stampede. In that case, we probably want to lead the Stampede first, just in case we get like overgrown battlements, stuff like that.
Wow, we only draw one card with our lead the stampede. Brutal. Three mana, draw one. I was really kind of hoping, or relying on that lead the stampede to get us some good stuff. Well, we do have access to some mana with Axe Bane Guardian, Query, and Ranger. Um, putting the two Caretakers onto the board is going to increase that mana by quite a bit. Um, if we can just draw an Altiosaur off the top. We got a Thought Cast. That'll find them their third land. And they kill our Axe Bane Guardian. Brutal. Well, we did draw the card we were looking for, but we lost all of our mana. We have one, two, three, four, five, six mana total. And we need seven. Oh, rip. That sucks. Okay, next turn. We are going to get that dinosaur onto the field. It's going to happen. We're going to cascade into a lead the stampede. We'll draw five cards. It'll be amazing. One of the other cool things you can do with this deck is splash blue to play mold drifter so you can cascade into the, uh, the mold drifter. All right, so they have the ATOG. Uh, if they get to fling, we're pretty dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So not quite dead. Almost dead. Ooh, yeah, you're right, Crown. That's the way to go. Okay, we got an overgrown battlements here. Um, that's not going to get us any value right now. Uh, one, two, three. Untap this. Four, five, six, seven. More mana. But um, as cool as that was. Our opponent might have something uh, interesting themselves this turn. No, they're just going to draw a card with a clue. So that's a good sign. Hello, blind. Yeah, we're playing Popper Walls. Going to make some mana, cast a dinosaur into a pirate. It's going to be good times. It's going to be pirates riding dinosaurs. Ooh, a grizzly with a bunch of mana. Don't mind if I do. This is basically free. Oh, okay. Yeah, no kidding. All those clicks.
Tinder wall. I mean, might as well. What happened there? Weren't we supposed to put it in our hand? I thought I said reveal it. Did I click the wrong thing? Oh, I have to click on the card. Okay, thanks, Blind. First time playing the deck. Figured if it said reveal the card and I said yes, I thought that's what was going on. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, it says okay. That's what's going on. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, some things work different from others. Um, it's just getting used to uh, exactly what we're supposed to be doing. And this is part of the learning process of learning a new deck. Okay, um, so we have two mana left, which is not enough for the Grizzly. Um, we could attack here. I think that's probably fine to attack. They probably just block with Thraben Inspector. And if we need to, we can untap the Altiosaur to block through Korean Ranger. They're just going to take the damage here. Kind of surprised they didn't uh, chump. Oh, it has trample, of course. So yeah, chumping doesn't make any difference. Just take all the damage. Uh, do they have the fling? Wait and see. Um, they could just start attacking us with togs, and we're going to have to block. Okay, so we get another turn here. We get another Axebane Guardian off the top. So we could play it with the Mystic and our mana, and that would make an extra mana for our Guardians and our walls here. That should be fine. That should still be free. Could have used Grizzly on their turn. You're right. Uh, could have untapped the Axe Spain Guardian and used Grizzly during their turn. So that's something I'll have to keep in mind. Oh, click the card to draw the card. Pay one more. We get a Land of War Elves. Hooray! Uh, let's keep going, right? Uh, this one. Okay, nothing there. Let's make some more mana. Uh, nothing there. And nothing there. I think we could go one more time, but then we, we need some creatures to be able to block these Atogs. So if we use the Caretaker here, we're going to tap down two creatures. We'll still have one, two, or I don't want to block with that one. One, two, three, four. That's enough for all the Atogs. And we could just keep one of the caretakers untapped, tap this guardian that we don't want to block with, and that'll get us an extra mana. So 
so that we can look one more time with a Grizzly. Okay, um, we don't really have the mana to cast this card though, so we're just going to pass here. Uh, we're going to want to keep some of our creatures up for blocks. One, two, three, four. So we can attack with one of the Altiosaurs here. And we can untap it with Quirion Ranger if we need it to block one of the Atogs. We have used up quite a bit of time on our clock here. We did have a lot of things to do on that turn. Opponent has two cards in hand. I think they're probably going to be looking to start attacking. But they would have to make quite a few sacrifices in order to do that. Let's see if they're in for it. Looks like they are. Uh, we're not going to block the Mirror Enforcer, but we are going to block the Atogs. Uh, they could still have any number of things here. Let's see what happens. Okay, go to blocks. All right, we've already used Query and Ranger, so I don't think we really have anything else we can do this turn, regardless of how this shakes out. We're gonna hit six so that we can save uh, the little time we have left on our clock. Uh, no, no I'm not. I just kind of um, checked this from MTG Goldfish. So I'm kind of going at the deck blind. You say there's a Popper Walls Discord. I'm sure we could learn a lot from that. Okay, they got rid of both of our Altiosaurs, but they also lost a lot of their uh, their cards. Got another Queer and Ranger here, which is going to allow us to accelerate our mana even more. Uh, undo that last one. Thank you. Uh, click the card. Cancel that. Cascading to Rumble Fort. Yes, please. Yeah, thanks. Hey, handsome, what's up? Uh, let's see here, use the Grizzly again. Okay, uh, use the Grizzly again. Okay. B4L4, thanks for the follow, friend. Oh, that's not an... Uh, I would like to draw that card, though.
I know. We are storming off. Takes a while, though. I think this is game one. We got 12 minutes left on our clock. Okay, this should be death. Cool turn, though. Like, that felt really fun. Did take a lot of time off our clock, but um, going off with this deck is pretty sweet. So I think we, uh, yeah, we want to bring in Gorilla Shaman. That's probably it. And I mean, we could have kept going. So what do we, we what do we want to take out here? We're playing against uh, Fling. Thanks, friend, for the follow, uh, Phaedr. Getting some new friends today. Hi ho. I appreciate the input, Crown. Interesting. So blind, um, again, uh, I'm not um, really experienced with a deck, but what I figure the combo plan, the uh, the invoker plan, would be mostly for um, familiars and for Tron, would be my guess. Um, decks that use Moments Peace or use Stonehorn Dignitary to take away our combat stuff, I think those are the matches where we're really going to want to lean on the invokers. Okay, we submitted. We're going down to the end of the clock here, so our opponent might not be sideboarded. I'm wondering if they might have just hit six after their last turn and just walked away from the keyboard. Who knows? Let's see how long it takes them to decide to play first. Uh, I'm not super impressed with this hand. Like, where do we go? It takes three turns to play lead the Stampede. I like this hand way more. Let's just get rid of Ul Ulmog's Crusher and keep this. Well, everyone can understand that, right? Going out, getting breakfast sandwiches? I mean, that's way more important than properly sideboarding. Give me a break. So we get Finehorn Elves. Let's go ahead and play that first. It's going to give us quite a bit of mana next turn, actually. I don't blame, I don't blame you, Blind. 
Popper has uh, really not been the same since Fall from Favor, and I want that card gone. Okay, we got a boarding party here. Uh, so we have three mana easy, and if we you cast the Quirion Ranger. Okay, that would actually take a land off the board though, so I'm not too interested in doing that. I think I'll just Axe Bank Guardian go. And next turn we'll be looking at even more mana with uh, playing Tinderwall, Quirion Ranger, the Axe Bank Guardian. Did opponent miss... Are they missing land here? Oh, that's lucky for us. And we get Overgrown Battlement too. Six. Oh, that's five. This is six. Just enough mana for the boarding party. Brilliant. All right, kind of missed with it, but it does have haste, so let's attack. If we had sacrificed Tinderwall there, we would have been able to Winding Way as well. I don't think that's a big deal, though. Um, opponent already missed their land drop, uh, looks like for two turns. So we are way ahead. They're not going to have time to put together enough uh, artifacts to fling at us, I don't think. We get Annoyed Altiosaur here. Uh, I think that's pretty good. That's seven. Let's play it. Uh, name creature, draw four cards. Oh, we got the Rumble Fort. That's pretty great. And opponent concedes because we still had another thing to do. We were going to be able to cast the other Altiosaur. Um, so yeah, opponent fed up with all the value that we were getting has conceded. Uh, I, I kind of like this hand. It gives me a one, two, three. I imagine we can get boarding party out on four. Oh, all right. It's our old friend. I feel like we play against them once a week. I had not noticed that. Um, Actually, now that you mention it, I think I did remember someone talking about it. I think they're just like... Snow tap lands, right? Oh, so they're like legitimate forest plains lands, like dual lands. That is actually some interesting news. Someone might be able to find uh, some interesting interactions for those.
Okay, so they have their familiar here, which is going to allow them to start casting their spells for cheap. They're going to snap my overgrown battlements, setting me back on lands, and untapping both of their lands, including the Karoo land. And having Sunscape Familiar, this is going to give them just so many manas. They've evoked the Moldrifter with one white floating, so I think they're going to um, ephemerate yep, the Moldrifter, giving them an incredible amount of value. They just drew four with this Moldrifter. Okay, so we have five mana if we sacrifice Tinderwall. So we could go sack Tinderwall, play Rumble Fort Battlement. That would give us two more mana, but we wouldn't be able to do anything with those mana this turn. I think it's still worthwhile to do that, though. Okay, Last Breath. Ooh, that's going to be a really good card versus our deck. And they snap the Battlements, making themselves more manas. Seagate Oracle with a blue land up. So they're going to be holding up um, Prohibit. So let's play a card that can't be prohibited. Okay, Omancer. Okay, this is bad news, Bears. What do you get with our Omancer here? Get back the Ephemerate. Ephemerate the Archaeomancer. Get back Snap. Yep, and then Snap our Axbane Guardian. Mm-hmm. starting to feel like garbage time to me. Saltite Caretaker. So we can at least double spell. But I think that uh, I'm going to concede this game pretty soon. Okay, Ephemerate on a Kaomancer. A Kaomancer gets back Last Breath. Wow. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. And they got mana untapped here, so they're going to be able to prohibit our spell. So I think I want to bring in Entourage to try and get the Monarch. Yeah, that's true. And I'm thinking that this might be one of the matchups for Blood Rate Invoker as well. Might also take out the Grizzly. Hmm. I'm going to take out one of these Caretakers. I just really do not like this card. Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay, so what do we got here? Um, this looks like an elf's hand almost. But it does a lot of things really early. Redraws with Winding Way. Let's give it a shot. I know, right? Where are the walls? Now that we're playing elves with Grizzly to draw more elves, it's really good with um, Priest of Titania. Let's play the card that has a picture instead of the black box card. What's going on with that? Okay, so Winding Way, if we draw four, we wouldn't have to discard. So let's go ahead and Winding Way. Name Creature. And we get one card. Okay, that's our turn. Okay, so we have five mana right now. Um, they could have Prohibit up. So that means our overgrown battlement could be countered. We'll play Axe Bank Guardian. And um, hmm, maybe we'll play the Quarian Ranger. But I don't want to lose my overgrown battlements to the Prohibit. Although I think the Quirion Ranger would have been slightly better next turn. We don't have any uh, defenders to really give the Axe Bane Guardian much value. The Overgrown Battlements is going to be the first thing that uh, tips this up over one. Okay, so they have their two mana up again. This time we're going to put the battlements down because I didn't think they would have a second prohibit and uh, the gambit paid off. Oh, hey, blind, I just saw that. Hmm. It's a good question. But, uh... In the one game we played, it didn't work out very well. Get the Vivian's Grizzly down. Okay, that works. Well, let's take a look at uh, the top card, then. Grab that. Uh, blue black. All right, let's attack for two with our hasty bear. Yeah, take that. Ooh, Winding Way. They do have Counter Magic, or sorry, Counter Mana, and seven cards in hand. So this Winding Way is in no way safe. But I think that it's better than Vivian's Grizzly uh, for a start. Let's see if we can get anything with it. No, they're going to have a Counter Magic. They have Negate. Okay. Oh, yeah, we grab that. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. That's exactly enough. Got our hasty pirate to attack now.
Yeah, Aquarian would be great. Let's attack with a bear as well. Why not? I mean, they have all the mana, but they're not doing anything with it. Okay, here's the Archaeomancer. It's going to get back Snap. So they can snap a creature during the attack step. Or are they going to snap something now? Oh yeah, they're getting rid of our Rumble Fort, so we no longer have haste. And they get to untap the Chantries, which gives them a ton of mana. Well, like I was just saying to our opponent, who doesn't want to cast Cascading Dinosaurs? Huh, have they got some sort of loop going? Okay, no, it's stopping here. I hope. Maybe not. <laughs> last breath? Really, you're gonna last breath this? I guess that's so we can't have red mana. So we can't get the rumble fort out. We do get another Caretaker, but yeah, we don't have any red mana right now, so we can't uh, give our creatures haste. And they do have um, a possible Prohibit up. Let's test the waters. This is free. And we might as well go ahead and cast the Axebane Guardian as well. Okay. So, um, Ekros, if you're still here, how was the stream? Think that uh, I saw you were streaming today? A cobra. Anyways, thanks for the follow, friend. Where were we? Second main. Let's go ahead and activate this grizzly. <laughs> you're stealing my content? Amazing. All right, don't think we have anything else we can do here. Let's pass. So we got them down to two. That was pretty close, but they have Ephemerate and Archaeomancer going here. So who knows what's going on? No, that's totally cool, dude. Stick around uh, in between rounds. That's great. So you're playing some modern. What are you, what are you playing? You playing a Lurus deck? So they have the Sunscape Familiar now. So they're going to be able to start doing some pretty amazing things with that. And the Archaeomancer. Um, but they are at two life, so they're going to have to be pretty careful about uh, what's going on from our side. We have the boarding party, and we have colored mana from two sources. And they only have three cards left in hand. Hey there, Eggy. Yeah, no kidding, right? I'm going to be trying out Shadow this week on uh, Wednesday and Friday. I feel like it has a pretty good hammer matchup, but I'm not too sure about the rest of the meta. Okay, so they're going to Ephemerate the Archaeomancer. What are they going to get back with the Ephemerate? The Last Breath, which kills our Axebane Guardian. Nope, they're going after the Grizzly this time, so that I can't continue to draw cards with it. What's the best TV intro? Ooh, that's, um... Ooh, I don't know. Altiosaur is interesting. And we have red mana to rumble for it. How much mana do we have? We have three defenders, so this is six mana. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that should be more than enough for Tuk Tuk and Allosaur. But we can't play both of the Tuk Tuks. Alright, um, let's start out with Altiosaur. Nah, uh, Tuk Tuk makes more mana though, right? Alright, let's play the Dinosaur. Cascade into Pirate? Nope. Concession from the uh, the Cascading spell. Alright, going to game three. Managed to take one against our, uh, our opponent, who is one of the Popper Trophy leaders. This guy's been on Familiars almost every time that we've played against them, and um, I think we might have beaten them one time. Basic Landshark with the host. Alright, thanks for dropping by. You planning on doing any streaming today? So we have a one land hand. I'm not too into that. We do have Quirion and Ranger. Um, maybe if I had land worlds to start, I might consider keeping this. But uh, this is a mall. Uh, not too happy with this one either, honestly. We have Quirion Ranger into nothing, and then lead the Stampede on three. Doesn't seem very good. Wow, this is just awful. Do we have to keep this? Like, this hand is... If we draw land, we can get to Battlement, but we don't have a lot of lands in the deck. Cool, cool. Looks like opponent was on the mulligan as well. Yeah. So at least there's that. We're almost even here. Uh, we can play the caretaker. And then play the wall and we'll have... Or we could play the wall. And then we'll have access to three mana next turn. Let's play the caretaker... So that if we draw land, we can play Tinder Wall into Battlements. Uh, games have been so-so. Okay, uh, give me a second here. So we can make three mana, I think, if we sacrifice Tinder Wall. And that would get the Overgrown Battlement out. We could put the Rumble Fort out, but um, actually the Rumble Fort doesn't seem too bad. And then we could Battlements next turn. Yeah, that's very true. Oh, it's an echoing truth, not a snap. We do get the land, though. We are going to continue to play. But that was pretty close to a, uh, a concession, just like Crown was saying. KO Mancer here is going to be pretty good. They get echoing truth back. But we're going to have a turn here to do our thing. Quirion Ranger is interesting. That's making mana. How much mana do we have? Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we have seven. Nice. I'll cascade into lead the stampede and draw four cards. Why not? That's a good turn. Uh, 
Okay, basic land shark. Um, yep, yeah, uh, blind beat me to it. You don't see the deck uh, nearly as much anymore. I have seen it, but it's extremely rare. Ever since Gitaxian Probe was banned, um, the deck fell off the radar. Another familiar, so their spells are reduced by two. Uh, this one island can cast, I mean, they have Echoing Truth, we know that. Are they going to do Echoing Truth now? Get rid of the Altiosaur? No, this is a snap. This is way worse. They drew into snap. They also have Echoing Truth. Okay, we do get Forest here. So let's see here, we have one, two, three, four, potentially five mana. We could get out a Rumble Fort, play a Mystic, maybe get the Battlements out. We play the Caretaker, we get an extra wall, so the Battlements makes more mana that way instead of playing the Mystic right away. Did we misstep? I thought we had another mana. Shit. This is uh, really not where I want it to be. Okay. Now, I made a bit of a mistake here. And if I want to play the Overgrown Battlements, I have to tap the Altiosaur. But it might still be worth it because we get one, two, three mana from the Battlements. And we can play the Guardian and then we can keep playing cards. So we get five mana, so we can play both of the invokers here. Oh, sorry, the other one's a rumble fort. Okay, so we just played all our cards. I think we already used the Quirion Ranger, so we couldn't untap the Altiosaur there. A little bit clumsy with um, how I put all my cards out there. It would have been nice to be able to attack with the dinosaur. Okay, it looks like they're passing here. So we're going to be able to make a ton of mana and use this Invoker uh, to do some damage to their life total, uh, not to mention attacking with the Altiosaur. Also, depending on what we draw here, we could be in for some uh, goodness. Just a snow-covered forest. No goodness there. Okay, fortunately for us, they don't have enough power on the board to actually kill our Altiosaur. So they're actually going to take all the damage. Okay, time to play the game. How much mana can we make? So that's six. Mmm, 
you're right. It would have only been six, so we would have missed by two. Still, that's uh, something to keep in mind. So during their turn, uh, we could use the Blood Rite Invoker again. Looks like they're echoing Truth, their own Meldrifter here, to find some answers to what we've put together. Yep. So they have the Snap in the graveyard. What they need is the, um, what's the name? Uh, one drop for white, it's an 04. Gain a life every time you cast a blue spell. And with that, they can gain unbound life with snap. Or is it flicker? I think they need actually flicker, not the snap. So this is looking pretty good for us. But um, they're able to untap the lands with the snap here, which gives them another two draws and still four mana, and their blue spells cost cheap. So they can absolutely still do things. Didn't they start the, the turn with like two cards in hand? And then they cast Moldrifter twice and they still have four mana? Yeah, they can flicker infinite times, uh, but they don't have a way to gain life currently. So if they have flicker and the um, whatever that white creature is where it gains life. Last breath, get rid of the Axebane Guardian. They're going to last breath again on the Overgrown Battlements now. Okay, so we've lost both of our big mana producing creatures here. So this is going to be five, six, seven. So we actually don't have enough mana. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven. So yeah, we don't have enough mana to do the Blood Rite Invoker thing, unfortunately. Okay, they took out all of our mana, and we didn't draw anything. Um, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana available. 7 with Aquarian Ranger, so we can't use the Invoker. We're just going to have to attack with the Alchiosaur. And they have enough power on the board to actually kill it now. So they can uh, take it off the board if they want. Nope, they're going to block it with a two Seagate Oracle, so they take no damage, but we get to keep our dinosaur. Okay, there's the Archaeomancer. That's a problem. What do they get back here? Snap. Snap the Moldrifter. Untap the Chantries. Make a bunch of mana. Cast Moldrifter. Draw cards. Makes sense. Okay, they're going to pass. Okay. They got a bunch of mana up. We draw basically a blank. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can use the invoker one time.
but it won't be lethal. Maybe we can use the Invoker once during their turn, go to our turn, then attack with Alchiosaur and hold up Invoker again. Despite our life total here, this is actually a very close game, I feel like. We have uh, produced quite a bit of pressure, but they managed to uh, take care of our mana pretty early. Just after we managed to do all the things. Okay, so the Ephemerate, the Archaeomancer, they get one of the spells back from their graveyard. They do have a lot of targets. Uh, snap would be good. Last Breath would be good. They end up taking the Preordain. So they're really digging. One card bottom, one card top. Probably top to ponder. Chooses to shuffle. And they concede. Whew. Doesn't happen very often, but we got a match against Raken. This hand seems fine. We got Tinderwall and Battlements. Let's go. Thanks, everybody. It's definitely interesting. Um, I like the explosive power the deck has. It feels really fun um, playing your cascading pirates and dinosaurs. Um, I do find that you can get in a position where you've uh, spent your resources and you have nothing left. And you just kind of twiddle your thumbs as you draw tinder walls and forests. But... I don't know, this, this deck is really, really cool. And having access to both uh, Winding Way and Lead the Stampede is definitely going to reduce what I, what I had just mentioned from happening. Forgotten Cave Mountain, is this Burn? Curse of the Pierced Heart. Slow start with Burn. Yeah, I agree with that. I was definitely thinking something similar. Okay, fine horn elf. So we can play Tinder Wall, which gets us three mana with a battlement. So we'll have three, four. Uh, so we could sacrifice one wall, play boarding party, attack for six. But that would make our next turn a little bit worse. I'd like to get an Altiosaur out. I think whatever happens, I'm gonna to want to play Tinder Wall. That is for sure. Three mana, four mana. But none of it's red. I think the boarding party is the thing that we have to do. You say it's the worst matchup, huh? Okay. Three, four, five, six. Let's go. Nice. All right, hopefully they don't have Searing Blaze, but they probably will. They did play four of in the deck. Nope, Curse of the Pierced Heart again. We got lucky. I wonder if we can get this Tuck Tup's Aliasaur out. Axe Bank Guardian, huh? Okay. So I think we tap the Guardian, make red mana, play the Rumble Fort, and then go ham. Yeah, I mean, Forgotten Cave into double Curse of the Pierced Heart Lava Runner. Their hand is awful. <laughs> like, worst I've ever seen.
So we have enough mana to do everything. That's sweet. Type with this and this and not the one one. Okay, that's everything we can do. I think it's pretty good. So they have to do 15 damage on their turn. It's going to be hard. They could do 9 and 4, which is 13. I'm pretty sure 13 is the most they could do. So I think we got this one. They can't even Searing Blaze anymore. They could Lightning Bolt the Boarding Party. Would that give them an extra turn? Six, seven, it would. Okay, so they have that. If they have Lightning Bolt for Boarding Party, we're still playing. Aquarian Ranger. That doesn't really do anything. I mean, it gives us mana, but so what? We don't have anything to do with the mana anymore. Actually, that's lethal, I think. That Quirion Ranger is gas. We wanted one more damage, I think. I think the Quirion Ranger actually kills them. Sorry for being disparaging, little elf. I know, right? We just needed any attacking creature. So they, they did have the Lightning Bolt, and they're still taking lethal. They could have uh, Fiery whatever, Fire Blast, but that's not enough to kill the Altiosaur. So they could use it to kill one of our 1-1s. One -ones. And they do. So they, so they go to 1. They get another turn. Uh, so they could do 6 damage, 7-8, so we still win. Dr. Stax. Welcome, welcome. Alright, we got a bunch of great cards here to bring in. Bring in five cards. What do you think, Crown? What uh, what do you think for the sideboard here? I think it's pretty obvious what we want to bring in. The Disciples and the um, Weather the Storms. What would you take out? Hootie Hoo. Breakfast delivery. That's a sweet deal. You don't like the Grizzly? Too slow, makes sense be able to bring something back in at that point. Um, not too hyped up on the boarding party because it dies to Lightning Bolt. The haste is really nice, though. Actually, the invoker is kind of interesting if we could ever get it to actually go off. Again, it has the issue of being slow, but the payoff is so high. Being able to gain three life a turn, that's one of their cards. All right, so we got a little bit over a minute here. Keep the Cascades and cut a Tuck Tuck. Hey, thanks for the follow, friend. Selark's on. What's going on? Double click, bring it back in. There we go. One land. We do have the Finehorn Elves and Quirion Ranger, which is going to make it um, seem like much more than one land. But if they first turn kill our Elves, um, it wouldn't even be first turn, it would be second turn. They could have Searing Blaze for it. So that would be really bad. 
we're gonna have to mulligan this as well okay we have weather the storm at least we have to get rid of two cards probably actually land land maybe we get rid of the invoker but we don't have any way to shuffle the deck so we'd just be stuck on the bottom of our deck at that point probably for the best we're not going to have time for it we have weather the storm to gain life rift bolt Skewer the Critics, and Chain Lightning. Wow, this would have been a great turn for Weather the Storm. Huh. So we played land go, opponent's turn now, we have two mana up, so whether the storm is probably on their mind, they might play one spell and then pass, I think curse of the pierced heart would be a pretty good play here for them. One thing that we might be able to do at some point is pretend to tap off Weather the Storm and then use Tinderwall for the final mana to uh, to Storm. If we just keep like one forest up, they might not think we could Weather the Storm. Okay, here's a Searing Blaze on the Tinderwall. Okay, brutal. And a chain lightning at us. Okay, so this is going to be the weather of the storm turn. And I guess we lead the stampede because that uses our mana. Okay. We do put uh, our other weather of the storm to the bottom, but we have a disciple here. So that'll gain us some life. And they just skewer the critics. I don't think they're going to be able to kill us next turn. Maximum damage they could deal is 7. So we're going to load up on uh, green 1 drops here. So that we can gain a bunch of life with a disciple next turn. Another skewer. Puts us to 8. Then we have one, two, three, four mana left. Not enough for a boarding party. So we'll just attack with these two. I'm just uh, wondering that, actually. I'm not sure. I think VIPs can post the links. You can go ahead and try it if you like. It's just that uh, most people I have it set so they can't post um, links. Anyway, uh, we're going to cast Boarding Party here. See what we cascade into. Aquarian Ranger. And we have access to one, two mana... We play a land this turn. We did not. So it looks like we can play the Axe Vein Guardian. Let's start with an attack. Nice. All right, I'm going to uh, check out that Discord link later. Thank you for that. Okay, untap, mystic, un 
return forest, play forest, play guardian. Okay, they have one card in hand. We're at 13 life. They could do six damage total. And that's if they have Fire Blast, so this is maximum damage. Hmm, we don't have any way to give our Altiosaur haste yet, but that doesn't mean that it won't be coming. Ooh, nice. I would like to see the list with Mall Drifters. Maybe I'll play that on Thursday. All right, let's see if we get the uh, Tuck Tuck. Winding Way, I'll cast that. Draw two Quirion Ranger, okay. All right, our opponent's conceded. We have a one land hand here. We have a bunch of our high mana cost creatures and we're really going nowhere with our mana production. We're gonna mull. This hand is wicked. I love this hand. Definitely keep. The, the difficult question here is what to throw away. I think we probably get rid of one of the winding ways because we're, we're going to want to keep the uh, Axebane Guardian so that we can make more mana with the battlements. I hate getting rid of a winding way, but I think that we have to. Basic Swamp. Okay. You have my attention. Let's see if we can keep this around for a turn. Basic Swamp, who knows? Black Mana is quite good at killing creatures. So let's see what they follow up with. Okay. So it looks like they're going to have nothing this turn. Looks like we're playing against uh, Pestilence. And they have to discard the hand size. Okay. Village Rights. Interesting. Okay. Saltai Care Care Saltai Caretaker is cool. Um, that's a cheaper way to get another defender on the board to make more mana. So this is one, two, three mana now. Now we can play the Guardian. And then we can untap. And Winding Way. Go for creatures and draw four. Nice. Unfortunately, we can't actually play any of these cards, but uh, we're loaded. Next turn, we should be uh, good to go. So they could kill potentially two of our creatures here. If they got the Battlements and the Guardian, we would be in a tough spot. We'd be able to make three, four mana. Okay, just chittering rats. No problem. Uh, we're going to redraw whatever we put back on top. Okay, so how much mana do we have here? So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen mana. 
Is that right? Do we have 13 mana? Could we just play two boarding parties? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nice. Yeah, um, that that's exactly it. Blind. We're gonna hit him with pirates. So cool. This is a uh, popper turn four. All right, we did take a little bit of time there to decide how we were going to play out our turn. So our opponent might have stepped away without just hitting the six button, without realizing that um, this was going to happen and they were gonna lose time off their clock. Uh, I personally am in the habit of trying to figure out everything that I'm going to do in a turn as far forward as possible before I make the first step in that turn. I mean, if possible, I'd also like to know what my opponent is going to do on their turn and what my plans are for my next turn as well. So if you're ever playing against me and you're wondering what is taking this person so long, it's turn one and it took them a minute and a half just to play a tapped overgrown tomb. Now you know the reason. I like to think about all the options, not just for this turn, but for next turns and what my opponents can do as well. This is something that um, you can't really do in paper. Uh, blind, no, I don't play much chess. Uh, I did learn chess and played a little bit of chess um, when I was a kid, I was very amateur, and um, I was never really uh, shown just how far you could go with the game, which is unfortunate. Um, I did spend quite a bit of time when I was in school playing Go. Seems like a good turn. And we can even play the Grizzly here. So honestly, I think opponents should probably scoop. They played Chittering Rats, we played two boarding parties. If they have double removal spell for our two boarding parties, they might be able to continue playing, but we're going to be following those up with crushers. And we can um, use Vivian's Grizzly, Grizzly, I think. How many defenders do we have? One, two, three, four. So yet we can use Grizzly once during their turn. Not necessary though. Okay, so we're playing against Pestilence. I don't know that we bring in anything. Our sideboard's really not set up for Pestilence. We can destroy auras, but that doesn't get rid of global enchantments like uh, Pestilence is. We don't have any answers to artifacts besides the Gorilla Shaman. You think the Monarch? Yeah, I'm into that. Maybe take out the Invoker?
Oh, okay. Fair enough. We have a one land hand with Llanowar Elves and Overgrown Battlement. The opponent's on the play. I don't think we can keep this. I think it's way too risky, and Overgrown Battlement's not really going to be making much mana. Let's try again. Ah, uh, this one's not much better. We have a Caretaker and that's it. No lands. How many cards we got to put back? Three. Jeez. Oh well. One. Two. Probably keep the winding way because we can cast it. Oh, here we go. Opponent comes back in the nick of time with their basic swamp. Are they doing maximum troll? Because they could just sit here and hang for like another four minutes. Nope. They're going to let us play. What would I do without all of you? Oh, that's nice of your opponent. Ooh. Ouch. We probably just keep the winding way here. Ugh. Yeah, that's uh that's not great. <laughs> All right, this is going pretty bad for us. We should have put Winding Way on top, but they didn't have any mana up to be able to do anything anyway. We have a blocker for the Chittering Rats. So at least it isn't going to be doing us much damage here. But we're in a pretty bad way. <laughs> no attacks. No lands. There's Chittering Rats again. We're going to put the Winding Way back on top to keep it safe. Make an attack with both. We're going to take one damage. And they have the Disfigure for our dude. So all we have is this single snow-covered forest. Sometimes that's all you need, but not this time. Phyrexian Rager. Okay, so this is uh, more of a classic mono black control splash white. I wonder what they're splashing white for.
One, two, three, four, five, six. We could Winding Way, but that's going to show them more of our deck. We're just going to concede here. It might have been better to let the opponent play one more turn so we could have potentially seen one more card out of their deck. <laughs> Damn autocorrect. Or your finger slip. Okay, this hand is good. We'll keep. Opponent is uh, playing the mulligan game this time. Oh, they're mulliganing to five. Feel my pain. Okay, we're going to do our thing here. Our thing is playing a 4 wall and attacking for one. Not that impressive. We don't really get going till turn four. Okay, so they got two mana. They could have a removal spell for the battlements here. Nope, just a Dusk Legion Zealot. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Get Boarding Party off the top. So we got some red things here with no red mana. Okay, so they have the removal spell, which means they're going to be able to take Monarch, but we can take it back with the Mystic. Unless they get... Um, ooh, if they have removal spell for Mystic here, we're kind of boned. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I want to get that uh, Monarch back. So let's see if they have the removal spell. Oh, they don't. That is super good. Super good for us. Play another Battlement. We have so many manas, but no red manas. Okay, Caretaker gets us some red. It's a turn away, though. If we can get a Timber Wall through Winding Way, we're going to be pretty happy. And we got the Monarch here. They shouldn't be able to take it. So hopefully the Monarch is going to be able to get us there by itself. I think that it was still fine just because of the way they had to play in order to take the Monarch for one turn. Because we were going to be able to get it back. Alright, um, so let's see here. They're tapped out, asking us to put a card back. It doesn't matter what we put back. They're not going to be able to punish us. So we can just put anything. We don't have to think about it. Alright, we're going to start with Winding Way, and we'll tap our Forests, because the Battlements might be able to be tapped for more mana. We draw two, we get the Tinder Wall, nice! That's what we were looking for. all the things Ooh, we get to lead the stampede and draw three
That's cool. All right, that's all our stuff. Let's attack with this 6-3. They can double block it. That's fine. Is that fine? Yeah, we have the Monarch. It's fine if they double block. Only, only single block. Okay, that's good for us. We get to keep our Pirate. We get to keep the Monarch. We have Quirion Ranger to untap. We draw, we draw a Winding Way. Second best draw on the deck, maybe. And opponent plays Phyrexian Rager. Are we even playing the same game? It can't be the same format. You want a Mortuary Meyer back your Zealot? Chooses not to, that makes sense. And we get a Crusher. Crusher has haste. I imagine the opponent will concede to the Winding Way. Well, let's see what else we can do, right? Iburakima, thanks for joining us. You managed to uh, join in just for the the finale. Wallin' and ballin', I like it. Yeah, definitely. We're uh, casting Cascade Dinosaurs. And you know what's riding the dinosaurs into battle? Pirates. Go ahead and put the career and ranger down. We got mana. All right, now we'll attack. Attack with this, with that, and with this. And that should be it. Yeah, sacrifice that journey to nowhere. Do it. Nice. Thanks for that, Crown. Yeah, that, that seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and put this out too, why not? This monster is full of spaghetti. Yep, yeah, sure. Journey to nowhere. You want to journey to know where the crusher? You got it. Bye bye, spaghetti. And this should be GG. Let's see what we draw. All right, let's still do things, okay? Opponent hasn't conceded here. So they obviously want to see more of the deck. Right? Right. I couldn't tell you that, Crown. But it's going to let us attack with another Ulamog's Crusher, so I'm going to do it. I think they just want to see how far this deck can go. There we go. 4-1. First league ever with walls. Uh, so we ended up losing our initial match versus Demir. Which just seemed really super difficult. Um, we lucked out versus Burn. 
Um, we beat familiars into a pulp and uh, crushed this um, black splash white control deck. <laughs> Love it. Th this deck is super fun. It felt really, really awkward the first time we played it. But since then, um, I, would, I would definitely recommend this deck. You get to do a lot of fun stuff. Who doesn't want to make just copious amounts of mana, cast dinosaurs and pirates, and swing with an Eldrazi the same turn you cast it? If you want to feel like you're doing powerful things, this could be the deck for you. Um, I feel like its weakness is uh, mass removal spells. But um, considering we just crushed mono black control, black white control, considering we just crushed Orzhov control, it felt great there. Maybe they just didn't draw into their cast downs. Maybe they weren't playing snuff out. I don't know. Totally agree, Crown. Elves is uh, a lot more difficult to play now that Fiery, uh, is that what it's called? Fiery Cannonade? Anyways, um, now that Cannonade is in the format, Elves is a much more difficult archetype to play. And this deck is not going to have the same problem um, if the opponent is dealing two damage to all of your creatures. Uh-oh, I lost an Elf. Okay, so that's the end of our league. Um, thank you everybody for joining in. Uh, chatting and uh, checking out what this deck can do.